Happy Wednesday. Welcome back to Chats with Chase, and here's your next tip. Say you have an assembly that you're working on that has several identical parts. However, as you go through and put everything together, you realize that one of them actually needs a few slight modifications. There's an easy option to essentially create a new part from one that already exists. I'll use the two arm pivot pins for this example. They're identical in this, but let's say we need to make the head of this one a bit wider to make sure it covers this hole properly. I can click on it here so it highlights over in the tree, and then I'll right click on it in the tree and select Make Independent. Yes, I want to save and replace this. It opens up the save dialog and we can put in the new name for it. I'll name it the same thing, only with a dash wide at the end. It does it and we can see the name changes in the tree. We should note that this only replaces the specific instance of it, not both. This is how this behaves differently than a save as process. I'll go and open that part and then change the dimension that makes that head. Back in the assembly, we can see the updated part. Thanks for watching. Contact me with any questions and I'll see you tomorrow.